We shape our buildings, thereafter our buildings shape us. Winston Churchill. Hello, fellow history buffs. Thanks for coming along as we explore some of the various historic resources to be found throughout the city of Bonita Springs. This particular stop along our guided virtual tour is the building known historically as the Nutting House, located at 9950 Pennsylvania Avenue. Under local ordinance, it's designated as historic by the city of Bonita Springs. The Nutting House was built in 1913 by Harvey Heitman after he bought much of the Comer parcel in 1907. Newly planted citrus groves were located in a portion of this parcel due to the climate and quality of the soil along the southern banks of the Imperial River. The house was built as a place for his grove overseer to live and was originally located on the riverfront on River Avenue. The house, along with 40 acres, was purchased by E. P. Nutting in 1942. Although he originally knew little of growing citrus, he soon developed a thriving business, shipping baskets of fruit to his home area of Maline, Illinois. Nutting spent his retirement here growing fruit and researching the area's history for his book, The Beginnings of Bonita Springs, Florida. In later years, he developed a residential subdivision from his citrus grove lands called Nutting Like It Grove. The architectural features of the house are typical to the Florida cracker style, including the lean-to front porch. Constructed from old Florida slash pine, much of the exterior wall and roof framing are original, as is the pine flooring inside. The living room showcases a beautiful all-brick fireplace, which offers a warm and cozy ambiance. In 2003, the house was salvaged and moved to its current location on Pennsylvania Avenue by local preservationist Christian Busk. After the move, the square footage was increased dramatically from around 900 to 1800, transforming the modest four-room bungalow into an adorable eight-room cottage. Historic buildings are a proud and significant part of our and every nation's heritage. They are an irreplaceable element and collective memory of local communities. They contribute both to our sense of identity and to that regional distinctiveness, which is so valuable and so vulnerable. Sir J. Stevens. I'm so glad that you came along with us on this leg of our virtual tour of historic resources, but there's still so many more resources to explore. So come on and join us. We'll see you at the next historical site along the way.